Hey there Toys and Collectible fans, Flygo for TechSushi.com giving you a look at a G.I. Joe Firefly figure, Pursuit of Cobra. This is from, and uh, it's a particularly cool figure, it has to be said. It's a couple of years old now, but uh, let me tell you, this is one you definitely want to check out. So there's a bit of a back of the card that comes from I've just cut that out from the uh, original of the, the card itself. Uh, but uh, let's get a look at this amazing, amazing figure. It's a very unique take on Firefly uh, overall. Um, as you stand, let me take that, we'll take that off out the way. But usual kind of stand that comes with this, uh, these figures. I'm not a great fan of them, but they do look rather cool. But um, just the unique way they've taken on this figure on Firefly. He's, he's came out in so many guises over the years. But uh, he's just uh, really uniquely done here. He has what the packaging refers to as a 360 degree sonar helmet here, uh, which allows him to basically see well in 360 degrees. It's a very kind of cool droid looking like uh, helmet. Uh, not my favourite, I have to say, but thankfully not a problem because pop that off and he comes with these more typical Firefly heads. There we go, it's snapped on. And that's what you get. So you get that kind of mask shape. That's a much more traditional uh, version of Firefly that we've seen. So you, you have an option, which is another great thing. Tons and tons of extras. Great paintwork. All the camo on that chest, uh, that padding, that uh, munitions expert that he is. All these explosives and whatnot is just awesome. Lots of weapons to look at, but let's get a look at that, and then we'll go into the articulation. So it comes with a couple of these pistols. These... Uh, I don't know what you would call them, but they're rather cool looking anyway. We'll uh, show you that in a bit more depth and detail. There we go. So there's two of these bad boys. Very coolly done. Would have been nice with a little bit of silver and chrome on it, but uh, black is cool. It works. It's better than blue for some reason, which G.I. Joe figures come with. Uh, I've strapped to the thigh there, but you can see he's got a machine gun with a rocket launcher on it. Or a grenade launcher, whatever you want to call that. Uh, but. Uh, one very cool rifle with him again. He, just, he can't carry it all, so that's why I've pinned that there. He also comes with very unusual pieces, these uh, blast protectors for his forearms. Uh, and if I try and shake that down a little bit, you should see... Let me just zoom in in intense detail for this. There you go. So there's even some markings and code on there on those arms. Now there's another one which is on the back of the, the plate and what I'm going to do is take this backpack off and show you what's underneath there because that allows you to plug in these forearms into these holes, these pegs here. So you can have that underneath his backpack if he doesn't want to wear them which is pretty damn cool. So if I take that off and out there you'll get to see the back of this figure. And this is a padded vest and it can come off. There's nothing really uh, too major underneath but I will take it off and uh, let you see that figure just for completeness underneath. In terms of the rest of them and all the detail there's just a look at the ammo pouches and all the stuff at the back <coughs> that this figure has and he's just excellent, absolutely love this. So I bought this off DorksideToys.com in the eBay store and they literally have hundreds of figures, hundreds of them. So I'm wading through all these G.I. Joes that I've missed over the last couple of years and just could not resist this, they've got some very good quality photographs and uh, it just lets you have a good chance to look at some of these figures and this guy is just off the charts cool, love him. Always loved Firefly anyway apart from Storm Shadow and uh, Snake Eyes but uh, Firefly has always been a great one, being a Sato too, he's always been a little bit devious and cool and uh, he has a couple of grenades stuck to the chest plate there, they don't come off but uh, they're glued on and this backpack is really what is rocking it, so plugs in uh, to the back as so and on the back of it, it has a couple of removable mines, which, uh, let me just see if I can pop one off. They fit on incredibly snugly. There we go. So you've got these land mines that he uses. And again, lots of detail on them. And that plugs onto this uh, backpack piece here. And the cool thing about this backpack is, it's a working backpack too. Now I've left it open, but it does actually clip shut. And then say you can put more stuff and more weapons off the charts awesome love it I mean it's just fantastic this is why G.I.G. was rock and I've started collecting them even more really really cool not only all these weapons but places to put them too so he's just jam packed with goodies this guy absolutely awesome so I think that's all the main weapons and guns that I've shown you but let me take off this padded vest 
and we'll see underneath what, uh, what else is there. I'll take the weapon off as well. Not a great deal uh, underneath the figure, as I said, but just for completeness, I'll show you. So uh, hopefully I have no fingernails, but let's see if I can try and take that off. I'll probably have to take the head off too, which is now plugged on. There we go. And there we go. So even if you decide to take all this off, you can still have the figure looking damn cool. And there he is. That's the underneath. So even underneath the figure, Hasbro have given all this detail. Now I picked this up for literally next to nothing on DarkSideToys.com. So get into Joe's, I'm telling you. These are uber, uber cool figures. Loads of weapons. Slightly species look and feel as well. So it's not any of this kind of... I'm not a big fan of military, kind of very uh, realistic military figures. But I do like this kind of futuristic, futuristic tint and taint that uh, G.I. Joe have. Which is rather damn cool, I have to say. And I love this weird and unusual helmet we showed earlier on. So again, lots of uh, detail and quite an unusual figure and one which I really love having in the collection because it's just different enough to be something special. So there we go. That is G.I. Joe Firefly. And I'll put a link underneath if you want to go and buy that. But definitely check them out. Lots and lots of Joes on there and lots and lots of other Joes I've got to review for you here. There's some crackers coming up, I'm telling you. So just above this helmet, hit subscribe and you'll get lots and lots of cool videos coming to you. We've got literally one every couple of days coming from myself, FX France and DC. So uh, hang fire, lots of cool stuff coming. And if you want to leave a comment below or join us on facebook.com slash TechSushi. And we'll see you for more stuff coming. I'm so excited, I forgot to mention articulation. So here we go, in terms of articulation on this bad boy, uh, he has pretty standard stuff. Ball jointed head, ball joint with a hinge on the shoulders, ball joint with a hinge on the elbows, and he has swivel wrist. There's no double action or anything going on there. Swivel waist, ball jointed hips, so it allows you to be more pose in any way. Uh, double jointed knees, and he has ball jointed articulated ankles. So absolutely rocking it. He's got the lot. See you for more reviews soon. Cheers.